have with me uh, Clay and Caroline Gorell, who uh, lead a grow group here at Cross Point. And if, um, if you don't know, grow groups are the main uh, thing that we have here at uh, Cross Point, where we want to help you get plugged into community and a place where you can grow with others and uh, your relationship with Jesus. And so I have uh, the Gorells here just going to share a little bit about uh, what Jesus is doing in their grow group. And so uh, first, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, first, why don't you uh, kick things off by just telling us a little bit about your group? Yeah, so we've been grow group leaders for about two years, a little over, um, and our grow group kind of consists of couples about the same age as us, um, maybe a little bit younger than us, um, and our group's kind of been our friends that we've brought with us across point that we've diabolically planned for them to just join our grow group um, and spend more time with us, so um, that's been a huge blessing to us. Um, kind of a little bit of how we try to structure our group is we obviously meet on Tuesdays for our our dinner and our Bible study time, uh, but then we really try to intentionally pursue one of the couples at least once a week um, and try to get some of that one-on-one time with them, which has been, I think, really good for developing and furthering that uh, relationship with our with our group. Um, and then we also just, they're some of our closest friends, so we love just spending as much time with them as possible and really trying to invite them to every part of our lives. So, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, one of the things that I... Uh, get really excited about is when God takes a group of people, like a grow group, um, who kind of start out maybe as strangers, maybe as people who don't uh, know each other super well, and then he takes them to a group of people who are intentionally like discipling one another, intentionally pointing one another to Jesus. And so uh, how has your group done that? How have you intentionally uh, discipled one another in your group? So I think one of the biggest things that our group has really recently moved into doing, I think really well, is honestly transparency. Um, That's something that can be really scary, vulnerability, being honest about the highs and the lows in your lives. Uh, What God is doing, whether that be really terrifying or really awesome, uh, can be really kind of daunting to share with one another, especially maybe when you don't know the people very well. But we have found that if you, either as the leader or as the uh, participant in the grow group, can be honest with one another, can share your heart, share your struggle, share your joy, your hardships, the things that are exciting in your life, you're going to allow the Holy Spirit then to move within that group and you're going to allow others to share in those joys and those hardships with you. And that honesty and that transparency, that's what God just desires. He wants a really honest relationship with us as a believer. And then he calls us then to be really honest and open then with the other believers in our lives. And so we have found that, um, True discipleship happens when we allow transparency and vulnerability in our groups and when we as leaders can lead that out and then return the group then turns around and brings that back. Uh, We're getting to pour into one another. We're getting to share with one another, sharing those joys and those trials. It allows that discipleship to happen because you see the Holy Spirit then move in someone else's life and you get to share in that with them. Um, And so that's been probably one of the biggest things that we've seen where discipleship happens is when honesty and vulnerability happen. That's great. We, we've said it before that the number one greatest thing that we can give people is Jesus. And the second greatest gift we can give each other is ourselves. It's that authentic relationship with one another. So thank you so much for sharing with us. Can we give the Gorells a hand? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, If you'd like to learn more about what a grow group is, uh, we're going to have a grow group connect right after this service in in our multi-purpose classroom. It's just a classroom right off of the lobby. It'll be just about 15 minutes, and uh, I'll be talking about what a grow group is, our values, and then answer any questions that you have with the hope of getting you plugged in to community. And so uh, let's pray for our grow groups, and then we'll jump to our message today. Father, we are so thankful, uh, number one, that you have given us your son so that we can have freedom from our sin, so that we can have a relationship with you, so that we can spend eternity with you. And we're so thankful that we don't have to live life alone. So I thank you for the Gorells. I thank you for all of our Grow Group leaders who each and every week are discipling people who are living life in authentic community, all with the hopes of expanding your kingdom. So we pray that you would continue this good work that you're doing in our groups and in our church so that others may know you. We love you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people said... Amen.